Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about auscultation of heart sounds. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Auscultation of heart sounds is a basic component in clinical physical examination. Auscultation is listening to the internal sounds of the body usually using a stethoscope. Auscultation of the heart is to characterize heart sounds and murmurs. Now, how are heart sounds created? Heart sounds are created when the cardiac valves open and close during the cardiac cycle. The valves are tricuspid valve, pulmonary valve, mitral valve, also called bicuspid valve, and aortic valve. Heart sounds are auscultated using a stethoscope. As we know already, parts of stethoscope include bell and the diaphragm. The bell is used to hear low-pitched sound, whereas the diaphragm is used to hear high-pitched sounds. Normal heart sounds come in pairs. The sounds are often described as lub-dub, lub-dub. The sound lub is S1 which is created while closing of the atrioventricular valves that is mitral and tricuspid and this corresponds with the carotid pulse. Ventricular systole is heard loudest at the mitral and tricuspid areas. The dub sound is S2 which is created while closing of the aortic and pulmonic valves and is heard loudest at the aortic area. This S1 and S2 are high frequency sounds which can be heard well with the diaphragm of the stethoscope. The third heart sound is called S3 which is also called as protodiastolic gallop or ventricular gallop and it is created by rapid filling of the ventricles. It occurs at the beginning of diastole after S2. The commonest causes of the third heart sound S3 are left ventricular failure and mitral regurgitation. On the other hand, some healthy people also have S3 heart sounds, for example, children, pregnant mothers, and athletes. S3 is a low pitch sound and is heard well with the bell of the stethoscope at the apex of the heart. The fourth heart sound is called S4 and is also called pre systolic gallop or atrial gallop. It is created by late filling of ventricles by atrial contraction. The commonest causes are left ventricular hypertrophy, hypertension, and aortic stenosis. It is also a low pitch sound and is heard well with the bell of the stethoscope at the apex of the heart. Next is site for heart sounds. First comes the aortic area which is found in the second intercostal space to the right of the sternum. The second is pulmonic area which is found in the second intercostal space to the left of the sternum. Third comes the tricuspid area which is found in the fourth intercostal space to the left of the sternum where other right heart sound will also be heard. Finally, the mitral area is found in the fifth intercostal space along the midclavicular line where the left heart sounds can also be heard. Another important auscultation point is known as Erb's point which is found at the third left intercostal space along the left sternal border between the pulmonic and tricuspid areas. We can use the angle of Louis technique in order to find the sternal angle so that the ribs can be counted and which becomes easy to identify the intercostal space where we can auscultate the heart sounds. We have discussed this angle of Louis technique in one of our previous videos explaining placement of 12 lead ECG and the link is given in the description box below for your reference. Now, how do we position the patient for auscultation? The common position involves forward leaning or left lateral recumbent positions. So this is all about auscultation of heart sounds. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Now you can listen to the heart sounds S1, S2, S3 and S4 clearly using your earphones.